Hi everyone, this is Bettina. It's th uh, Friday, January the 27th, 2012. So this is part three to my IBM 5150 videos. And uh, I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to, I guess, maybe work the computer a little bit more and we'll run some games from the uh, the B drive. What we'll do is we'll load DOS onto the uh, A drive and uh, run a simple Pac-Man program from the, from the B drive. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's, uh, first of all, I have... Um, DOS 2.1 and this drive here, which will be the A drive. And then I've got a floppy here with a whole bunch of games. I just uh, picked this disc up from uh, the com computer store, or not the computer, uh, the surplus store. Uh, there was a whole bunch of discs in there, and I see this one said games, so I said I'd figure out buy it. So we'll put that in the B drive, but I won't close the door just yet. Well, let's first load up DOS and then we'll run it from there. Alright, so turn the power on. And DOS is slowly going to boot up. And trip a little bit back here. It's kind of difficult to work the camera and all the rest of it at the same time. But I'll try my best. You could probably see me in the monitor. All right, like I said, last video is every time you boot up one of these 5150s, you have to put date in, put have to put time in, and then we have the A drive. So let me uh, zoom in a little bit more here, and that way you can see what's going on. All right, so first things first, I'm going to change to the... Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, there it is. To the, uh, to the B drive. So I'll just hit the B and then the colon. Uh, you weren't seeing that. Anyway, I'm at the B drive now, and let's just do a directory, see what we've got here. Directory slash W, make it in the, oh, got to put the disk in. Did not put the disk in. So let's wait for that to time out, and then we'll put it in. There we go. All right. Disk is in. And it's asking us to abort, retry, or ignore. We'll try the retry. Oh, look at that. Got a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so what do we got here? We've got games.arc... Monocode, whatever that is, probably a file that's used for something else. Well, we got Monopoly in there. In fact, I played that the other day. It's uh, quite nice. And we got Pac-Man, P-A-C-K. I mean, we don't want any um, lawsuits against us. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. All right. Anyway, so let's. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run the Pac-Man program. So at the B prompt, I'm just going to type in P-A-C-K. M A N. You don't have to put the dot exe at the end. Anybody knows. That's what's so good about these old computers. It just assumes you know what's going on. Okay. Isn't that fun? I'm just gonna press any key. And there we go. So it's gonna be kind of hard to play this game when I'm not. Oh, we got to back away. Look out, look out. Go down. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to go up just to get killed. There we go. Okay. Oh. 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 Game over. All right. Plug in. New. All right. So I guess that's all I really wanted to demonstrate on this particular video is the fact that uh, when we load DOS in the one floppy, we can actually play games in the other. And like I've said millions of times, these computers, 5150 did not come with hard drives. That was not an option. So, anyway, that's it for this video, and uh, I don't know what the next one will be, but we'll figure that out. Bye.